When the weekend arrives, so do the tourists, hundreds of them by the busload. Then they pile into off-road trucks and head off, bumping along dusty trails for a close encounter with Indonesia's most active volcano. The alert level for Mount Merapi is now low. It's nine years since the last major eruption. Tourists are allowed to go into the danger zone, as close as four kilometers from the crater. Agus Sudamanto used to be a cattle farmer, but turned to off-road driving after his neighbor persuaded him to give it a go. Whenever there's been an eruption, tourists are a bit weary and stay away, but they come back when the government says it's safe. The volcano is dangerous, of course, but there are also benefits. He sold some of his cows to buy his first utility vehicle. Now he has three. This tour has become so popular that there are now about 900 jeeps that cater to visitors. The highlight is this, driving through a river of rocks and sand, where lava from the 2010 eruption flowed. It's not just nature and the spectacular views that attract the tourists. This museum of sorts is a testament to the power of Merapi. A collection of household items destroyed in the eruption in 2010 that killed 275 people. Endang is on her second visit to Merapi. I was very happy and excited my first time here. But this trip I feel a bit sad thinking about the people who died. But it's a good tour. It educates people, especially for people who live in disaster-prone areas. They know how devastating such occurrences can be. Asi knows just how deadly Merapi can be. He's the volcano's spiritual guardian, a traditional role going back generations. He succeeded his father, who was killed in the eruption nine years ago. People still come to pay their respects to him. Farmers take grass from Merapi. We take rocks and sand to build houses. We need to love Merapi. It's terrifying when it explodes. But when it calms down, we need to come back and take care of it. The people of Merapi know they live in the shadow of danger, but have learned to adapt and even benefit from it. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Mount Merapi, Indonesia.